Tim Can Steel creates customized special bar, tube, and value-added solutions, providing tailored products and services for our customers' most demanding applications. We invest steadily in our operations to help answer the toughest engineering challenges. The biggest of these recent investments, a Jumbo Bloom Vertical Caster, the largest such caster in the world, enables the production of an industry-leading, broad range of large diameter bars. This $200 million investment at our Faircrest steel plant in Canton, Ohio, combined with our new forge press and ultrasonic inspection capabilities, reflects our continuing commitment to customers. Here's how the caster works. A ladle departs the vacuum arc degasser after undergoing a rigorous refining process to meet our customers' exact chemistry specifications. The ladle then travels via transfer car from the ladle area to our new caster building. Once it reaches the caster, a 300-ton crane picks up the ladle. This crane lifts the ladle about 100 feet before placing it on a large rotating turret. Once the ladle is ready to cast, the turret rotates the ladle over top of the ton dish. When the ladle reaches over the top of the ton dish, a refractory valve opens to allow steel flow from the ladle into the ton dish. During this process, a physical shroud and inert gas protect the steel stream from oxidation. As steel flows through the ton dish, a series of flow modifiers control the flow, allowing for optimum inclusion flotation and steel cleanness. The steel then exits the ton dish to each of the three strands. We use refractory stopper rods to control flow from ton dish to mold. The mold has a set of four copper plates that we clamp together and water cool. Mold powder protects the steel in the mold from oxidation. While in the mold, we utilize electromagnetic stirring to improve the solidification pattern. Below the mold, the cast steel descends vertically with support from a series of rolls contained with two segments. These rolls prevent bulging of the bloom surface. Between the rolls, we use air mist sprays to cool the bloom surface and strengthen the solid steel shell. Below the segments, a series of large rolls support the strand. Several of these rolls can apply soft reduction, which is a slight squeezing of the bloom shortly before full solidification. This provides the bloom with a superior solidification pattern and minimizes carbon segregation. After the strand exits the last mechanical soft reduction rolls, we cut it to size using a torch cutting machine. This machine clamps and follows the bloom as it travels to make a straight cut across the bloom face. We can customize the bloom length to allow for optimum cutout in a rolling mill. After the bloom torch cut, a transportation car receives the bloom, raising it to ground level. A longitudinal pusher moves the bloom off the car and onto the discharge table. The blooms then travel to an aerial transfer, which picks up the product and moves it to the cooling bed. On the cooling bed, we weigh each bloom and tag it with a barcode. Finally, we transfer the blooms to a large carrier stand. The bloom then transfers to the rolling mill, where we roll it into bar product. Now you know more about our Jumbo Bloom Vertical Caster. The caster is another example of Timken Steel using the best technology, combined with our material, applications and design, and expertise and operational excellence to produce high-quality alloy steel reliably and consistently. Contact your local Timken Steel sales engineer today to learn how the caster can help customers push the bounds of what's possible.